Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the quantity of concrete for the staircase in a very easy way. So this can be seen as the side view of the staircase, while this is the top view of the staircase. The width of the staircase is 1.3 meter, while the other dimension for the staircase are given to us. The height of this staircase represented by H, capital H, the general height from the top of the staircase to the bottom ground is 4 meter and the thickness of the staircase of the waist slab, this is the waist slab and the above the waist slab we have the steps. So there are two things in the staircase. One is the waist slab, this is known as the waist slab. And on top of the slab, we have steps. So there are different steps supported by waist slab. So in the case of the waist, we have two dimensions. One is called the thread, is the horizontal dimension of the staircase. And one is the vertical dimension, it is called is the riser. So this, I represent this in a detailed way. So one step can be seen here in a detailed way, where the, where the horizontal dimension is known as the thread and the vertical dimension is known as the riser so these two makes the one step so we are going to do the analysis for the quantity of concrete so in order to do this we have to solve some steps so let's start from the first step we have to find out the total volume of the concrete so the total volume of the concrete in the staircase will be equal to the, the steps volume and the waist slab volume. Because the staircase consists of two parts. One is the waist slab, this slab, and on top of the waist slab we have one step. So we have to find out this step volume and adding this with the waist slab volume we will get our total concrete volume ignoring the steel reinforcement. Now the first step will be to find out the number of steps in the staircase. So number of steps we can find out by dividing the total height of the staircase dividing by the riser. So the total height dividing by the riser which is 200 mm and the height is 4 meter. So height is 4 meter dividing by the riser which is 200 mm in meter it will be 0.2 meter so this comes out to be 20 so 20 are the total number of steps in this staircase so 20 are the total number of steps now we have to find out the horizontal length you can follow these steps in order to find out the quantity of concrete in a very easy way so horizontal length of the staircase will be equal to the 20 are the number of steps multiplying it with the thread. The thread dimension is 300 millimeter, which is the horizontal dimension of the staircase. Multiplying it with the 0.3, so I got 6 meter. So it means that this distance, horizontal distance starting from this point up to this distance, this horizontal distance is, is 6 meter. This is the horizontal distance of the staircase. Now after finding the horizontal length, we can find the waist slab length. The waist slab length. What is waist slab length? This slab length starting from this point up to this point. So this is the waist slab length. This is unknown to us. To find out this waist slab, we can easily find out because we know the height of the staircase and we know the horizontal length so we can find out by the Pythagoras theorem that L is equal to the horizontal distance which is this plus this this height square so we will find out the length of the waist slab so it is equal to the 4 square which is the height plus 6 square which is the horizontal distance so by using the Pythagoras theorem we, find, we can find out the waist slab length, so it is equal to the 7.2 meter. So L is equal to 7.2 meter. 
now we almost find out all the dimensions that are important to us. So now the first step in finding out the volume will be the volume of the waist. First we find out the volume of the waist slip. So the waist slip volume will be equal to the length into breadth into the thickness of the slip. So the length of the slip is 7.2 meter. The breadth of the slip is 1.3 meter. And the thickness of the slip is 150 millimeter. You can see here. So it is 0 0.150 meter. Now to multiply this value, we got here 1.40 cubic meter. So this is the volume of the waste slip. This one portion, we are done with this one portion. Now the second part is the volume of steps. Volume of waste slip we determine. Now we have to find out the volume of the steps. So first of all, the volume of the one step. The volume of the one step is equal to the half base into height multiplied by the breadth. The one step volume, if you look to this step, this is a triangle. So the area of the triangle, which is half base into height. So base is 300 mm and height is 200 mm. And where the breadth is the 1.3 meter of this staircase. This is the top view. So the area multiplying it with the breadth dimension, we will get our volume. So this will be the volume of one step. So it is equal to the half base is 300 mm or we can say 0.3 multiplying it with the height which is riser which is 0.2 mm 0.2 meter and the breadth is 1.3 meter so by multiplying these values I got 0 0.039 cubic meter this is the volume of the one step now we have 20 steps so the total volume of the 20 steps so volume of 20 steps will be equal to the 20 multiplying it with the volume of one step. So volume of one step was 0 0.039. We got 0 0.78 cubic meter. Now the total volume of the concrete in this staircase will be equal to the total volume of concrete in the staircase will be equal to the volume 1 plus volume 2. Volume 1 is the volume of the waste slip and volume 2 is the volume of this total 20 steps so v1 is 1.40 adding with this total volume of the steps which is 0.78 so we got the total volume of the concrete and for this staircase equal to 2.18 cubic meter so this is the total volume of the concrete used in this total staircase hope you guys understand how to do that just remember these following steps and follow these steps to find out the volume of the concrete for any kind of the staircase. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.